Bulletin's Bulletin. How many points are there? They're looking for us, the police. Well, let's just stop and get a lawyer. After we're married. Oh, Stella, you're so stubborn. You should pick up this kid. Why? Adding to our group will confuse anyone looking for two old broads. Does he look safe? Not really. Pull up your pants, kid. You're humping the wrong fire hydrant. We're here with Tom Fitzgerald. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Happy to be here. Um, you have a very long tradition of working with gay themes, Three Needles, um, Cloudburst, The Hanging Garden. Why as an artist is it so important to you to work in that genre? I think what I really uh, write about and the commonality between all the different characters in the various films is that they, they all feel like outsiders. Mm -hmm. They're just outside of some, something that is important to them that they want, um, but for whatever reason, often their queerness, mm -hmm. they are on the, the margins of it. A lot of my films, there's rituals and ceremonies going on, and, and another journalist had to point this out to me mm -hmm. some years ago. Um, but you know, at the Hanging Garden, it's it's about a guy coming home for his sister's wedding, mm -hmm. uh, something that at that time was a kind of ceremony off the table for, mm -hmm. for him because he mm -hmm. was gay. And, and this was the mid-90s when I made the film. And so to him, a wedding ceremony was uh, something he would never be part of, mm -hmm. the, the way it is for a lot of people. Um, it's That theme is back 15, yes. 17, seven, <laughs> many years later in Cloudburst. Stella, are you proposing to me? Maybe. Are you down on one knee? Yeah. I don't believe in marriage. I was married, remember? And that was like having a brain clot. I loved you for 31 years. I loved you when you got fat. I loved you when you went blind. I'm gonna love you forever. How much did the gay marriage issue inform um, the writing of this piece for you? Well, I think that uh, I wrote Cloudburst from a very honest place. It's not a very political film, and, and the, the framework is there because the women do have to cross a border to, to have their wedding that they seek. But no one is thinking about politics when they're about to get married. Mm -hmm. That's not why people get married. Mm -hmm. um, so it is a romance and it is very much about a woman trying to protect her family, mm -hmm. protect her love um, at any cost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did it come to you that you thought you would write a movie about two women in the twilight of their time and retirement age um, and write about their love? How did that come to you? Well, you know, Olympia was really my muse for the piece. Um, she inspires me. I, I love, I've worked with her before. Um, we work well together. She's wise and vivacious. I wish I had half of the energy that she has. Stella, which mm -hmm. is played by Olympia Dukakis, and you have just described her as quite angry. But I have to say, Tom, she has one of the foulest mouths I have ever. I was blushing. <laughs> Good. My little cheeks were red. And I will add that as much as um, Olympia and Brenda expressed initially their, you know, a little reticence about mm. some of the colorful language in the script. Oh, in the end, uh, honestly, I, I wrote about half of those curse words in mm. my script. Once those two women were allowed <laughs> to curse on film, I could not stop them. The chemistry between them was quite remarkable. Did you work, did you have a long rehearsal period with them or? No, but Olympia and Brenda have known each other for some time. They're good friends and they both have had great lifelong marriages. 
I think that they completely understood the, the emotional life, the energy between two people who have been together for decades, mm -hmm. and how all politeness has gone out the window. Yes. <laughs> they are hostile, they, they, are, they lash out without thinking about it at all. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're like constantly provoking it each other, pushing buttons, I say uh, itching and scratching. Mm -hmm. They never played the sentimentality of the movie and I greatly admired that and that was what they brought to it. How did a fellow who was born in New York and raised, I believe, in New Jersey, find himself living all these years in Nova Scotia? I feed off of um, the energy in Nova Scotia. It's very, very different than the way I grew up in New York. Mm very different kind of energy and um, I feel like uh, every day in New York is a challenge, a great challenge to take on and a great big way of living. Mm -hmm. And when you live in a, a place like Nova Scotia, it's, it's nurturing. So all in all, Canadians are great and Nova Scotia is wonderful. All in all, Canadians are great mm -hmm. and Nova Scotia is wonderful. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. I thought so, and I think that's the perfect way to end. Thank you so much, Tom. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.